guys. It's been a while since I've made a video and I have to apologize because I have a somewhat inferior headset microphone set so it might make a kind of a funny noise uh, but it's easier to record with that headset on and get my Android phone to actually hear what I'm saying from this distance. So uh, today I'm doing an unboxing of a new uh, device that I bought. Um, this will be my first video in probably over a year that I've made. Um, yeah, it has been that long because let me just start out by saying I moved from my place in Colorado in February of 2019 to uh, the high desert of California to come and take care of my grandmother. So it is now March of 2020. So I've been here for over a year now, um, and I am preparing um, for the zombie apocalypse and my uh, post-caregiver uh, life. So one of the things that I wanted to make sure I had was um, a solar generator. Uh, I have another device that I've made a video about. Uh, it's a car charging device that I also use as a power station. It is actually a power station that you keep in your car. Um, you can see that video. Uh, it says $226 portable um, solar power or something it's titled. But today what I bought is a completely new unit. I, I did order this from Amazon, the evil uh, empire overlord where we all get most of our things now. Um, and what this is, is a Suwaki 200 watt hour solar generator. And I've been wanting one of these for a while. I want one of the bigger ones, um, but I can't afford it right now. I have saved for three months to be able to buy this one. So. <laughs> Um, and it really wasn't that much. I actually got it for $189. Um, there was a coupon attached to it, and so that made it a lot more affordable. It was like normally like $219, and, um, but the coupon helped, so that was great. This is kind of my early birthday present to myself. So in the box, um, there's the documentation and manual, user's manual. There's a little box in here that has my power supply for it uh, for plugging into the wall for wall charging. This little box up here has, what does this have? Oh, this has all my goodies. So this is all my different kind of uh, connectors. So this one is my MC4 connector to connect to my existing 50 watt solar panel. And it's got the plug that goes into the unit itself. So I can charge it via solar panel. It has the 12 volt DC uh, plug connector so that I can plug it in to um, a moving vehicle and charge it while we're in motion, which is great. Uh, now I always see these and I don't know exactly how people use them. This is obviously the cigarette lighter port that you can, I think you can also use to charge if you have um, one of these that's double-sided. It's got two, it's got this on both ends instead of the connector that goes to the power supply. So that would go in there. And the other 12 volt piece that would be on this side would plug into the vehicle. Um, cigarette lighter. So that's another way you can charge. And then this, what is this? What, what, what? Um, some kind of, okay, so here's a USB-C charging uh, cable. 
um, double-sided USB-C. This, I don't know what this is. It obviously plugs into the unit, and then it's also some other type of plug adapter. I don't know what that's for, but I'm sure somebody out there does. Um, so these are all the little goody bits that come with this portable solar generator. And that gives it uh, many different ways to charge. And they have all of this wonderful styrofoam <laughs> packaging in here. Ooh, I hate it when I do that. It makes it really hard to get out. But it also makes it really safe for transport. So now, Any, no, there's no tape, so I just have to pull this. Oh my god, you guys, this thing is so freaking cute. It's, it's actually pretty small for such a powerful little thing. Um, this is what it looks like, That's how big it is. The Suwaki 200 is what that is. Silica gel packet, which I will save for a rainy day, literally. So here is my um, solar power generator. And the thing that's cool about this, um, so I have 110 AC port right here. So I can plug in my computer um, or other devices. I know you can power like your 12 volt compressor fridge using this. Um, if you're using the AC on it, some people plug other types of electric uh, refrigerators in here. Um, this is the uh, this is a DC input, and that looks like remember that thing that I was saying. What is that? It could be that. Um, is what goes in there. So I just have to figure out how all these things work. Also, um, yeah, so this is the DC port. So this piece, this side, plugs in there, and that plugs in to the car charger. Pretty cool stuff. Now on this side of the unit, you have two USB ports. One of those is a 3.0 uh, fast charger. There's another DC port there. Here's the type C. So here's this DC port. No, it's probably, oh, the other plug. Yeah. So then this is the type C um, USB charging port. Here's the power button. Here's the button for the DC power, and here's the button for the AC power. And when you turn it on, let's see if there's anything here. Yeah, so I do, I am charged. And I don't know if you can see that from there, but this is my control station. It tells me how much battery I have, uh, which right now it looks to be almost completely fully charged. Um, it tells me how much output is going out on the DC, the AC, and the USB, which is zero on all of them. Um, if I hit the DC button until it turns green, um, that is that turns on the DC charging. If I turn on the AC, then that turns on this port back here on this part of the device. You can see how small it is. It weighs, of course, the phone's ringing right now. Let's give it a minute. Huh? Grandma will answer it, there she goes. So, <laughs> you can see how small it is. And the funny thing about this device is I've been watching a lot of um, videos from Jimmy's Bright Insights and he talks about like the, all of the ancient civilization sculptures, you know, ancient uh, 
uh, astronauts kind of thing. And some of the carvings that he's found on pieces from all over the world show ancient peoples in places all over the world carrying a device or a bag of some sort that looks like this. And it has been theorized that um, those bags or devices that they're carrying were portable solar power or portable power of some sort, a battery generated of some sort. So when this came out of the box looking like this, I was like, oh my gosh, how cute. It looks just like that. So anyway, this is the unboxing of my Suwaki 200 uh, solar power generator. And I'm super excited to use it. And I'll do some more videos in the future uh, showing you how I use my sewing machine on it and also my Fordham flex shaft uh, carving tool to do my wood carving and maybe my wood burning tools um, where I make my wood burn jewelry. So uh, look for those videos and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.